Um, myself, I come from a state comprehensive school, and that's why I sort of feel like access is very close to my heart, and it always has been. Um, when I was a prospective applicant for um, Cambridge, um, I went on a number of residentials run by access, access schemes at Cambridge, and now I'd like you guys to give me the chance to give back to these students. Um, this year, I've completely immersed myself in working with Access. I've done a number of um, residentials, Access tour, um, and also a number of days. Um, currently, it's a very good time for Access, what with the maintenance grants being scrapped and the A-level reforms uh, to the structure of the A-level market. Um, there's a lot of information out there which students and teachers are trying to decipher, and it's very difficult at the moment to make sure that they're getting the correct advice. Um, and I also noticed when I've been working on access events that students have been relying a lot on the student group um, as accurate information and as you probably all know it's not always the most accurate source. Um, so as part of my um, term I would plan to have uh, a greater presence on the student group and with the new SLOs um, idea of senior ambassadors, we have trained senior ambassadors um, writing and responding on the student group to make sure that accurate information is going out about these new reforms and just anything in general about the application process to help this run a bit more smoothly for these students. Um, and I'd like to also introduce target schools back to <coughs> college level. This is currently being run by KUSU. This would allow a great number of students at the college to get involved with access um, at home at their own schools. And the training for this would be provided by the senior ambassadors with the senior ambassador scheme. Um, so I'm looking forward to um, doing this. I'm very keen to work with the SLO. Um, who uh, was appointed earlier this year and to uh, bring Time. on her ideas. <laughs>